guys, it's Gator. We're doing 22 questions with Live, Sail, Die. We're here with Thomas Oldie Old, and we're here with his crew, Ben Newton. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Oldie, what are we sailing today? Uh, today we're sailing a 12-foot skiff. Is cool. this your 12-foot skiff? Uh, yep, yeah. it's called Mr. Scruff. Mr. Scruff, why is it called Mr. Scruff? Uh, I just, because we used to listen to a lot of music from Mr. Scruff back in the day. and Is Mr. Scruff a DJ? Yeah. Is your favorite DJ? Wow, nah, but he's pretty good. Did you do this paint job? Uh, yeah, uh, me and my old man uh, sanded it back and then we got Alex from SeaTech to paint it for us. And it looks pretty fresh, why did you paint it green? Oh, uh, well, I've got an OK dinghy painted green and seemed like good color, no one else had it, so. Is it the fastest color? Oh, hopefully. So, why is your boat on its side? Oh, this is how we rig up because we don't have a jib halyard, so we have to permanently fix the jib on it, so. We rig it up sideways. Every day? Yeah, every day. Oh, that seems like a lot of work. Oh, yeah, but you get quick at it. <laughs> How many rigs do you have? Uh, three masts, but four sets of sails. Four sets of sails. Uh, you used to be a sail maker. Did you make these sails yourself? Yeah, these ones I did, yep. Oh, are they the fastest out there? Not yet, but we are continually modifying them, so they will be. How much work does a 12 take? I don't know, 15, 20 hours a week work. <laughs> That's a good part-time job. <laughs> Who does most of the work between the two of you? Ben. <laughs> Can you take us to your favorite part of the, of the skiff? I don't know, Ben, what do you reckon? I kind of like this foot strap because it stops me from falling in the water <laughs> if um, the front goes in. So that's probably my favorite bit at the moment. So you put your foot back there? Yeah. And I'll who goes put in, in foot in here. I'll put mine in there and then cross legs over here. Oh, that's cute. This you kit. guys get cozy? It, it, it doesn't feel it at the time, but actually when you see photos, it is quite cozy. So, yeah, ben, yeah. Uh, Ben's favourite part of the boat, I think, is, is uh, main sheet fairing here with the mylar. Did you make this yourself, Ben? I did, yeah. Yeah, it took, it took, it took many hours. But it's it was worth it. It looks great. Thanks. There's some great detail in there. So are you guys both on trapeze? Uh, yeah, twin, uh, twin trapeze this boat. Have you ever fallen off? Yes, Monday actually. On Monday? Yeah. Uh, I saw a photo of you, Oldie. What happened to your prod on Monday? Oh, I'd, uh, the dolphin striker gave way and then it snapped in half when we uh, mined it. My goal is to beat Mary England at de-rigging every time. Unfortunately, we've never achieved it yet. Oh, we have. Dreams are free. <laughs> <laughs> All good. I'll whack that up to a thousand or what? Yeah, I think we'll get that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are naturals. Oldie, what's going on here? Oh, this is a little uh, cut out for the head, so we can uh, get maximum height here. Otherwise, if you shackle it on there, then you'd lose a bit of height in your mainsail. There we go, good for heaps. Good for heaps. So you have different size prods as well, is that right? Uh, yeah. So what size is this one? Oh, this is kind of our second biggest prod. Right, which one did you break? Uh, the big one. How easy is it to fix? Uh, if you know how, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Do you know how? No, nah, but I can find some help. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of gear do you run? Uh, we currently run Doyle sails and we run SeaTech uh, rigs. All made in New Zealand, you know, you've got to support local. And do you sail in the winter? Uh, yep, we uh, run our Auckland Champs during the winter at the Manukau Yacht Club. How cold is it? Uh, can be cold in depth of July, but you know, you get, get a full wetsuit and it's all good. Ben, where are you from? I'm from the UK, Gator. And I'm how cold Cornwall, is it Cornwall in the UK? specifically. Uh, it gets a lot colder than it does here. So do sure. you think this winter was cold? No, it was balmy, it was lovely. Yeah, you didn't have to scrap the snow off. Yeah. yeah, off the deck, right? So it's all no good. No frozen sun cream, it was all good. <laughs> How fast have you guys gone in the 12? I reckon 22 knots. Yeah, Skinner says he did 21, so we did 22. Mm. <laughs> 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 all right, well, can, you, can you describe this uh, kite system we have going on here? Your kite lives in this little cubby hole? Uh, yeah, it's called the kite bin. And uh, we just have the tack line here that pulls it out. And then the halyard that pulls it up. 
And then, yeah, and then when, when you go up wind, you just ease those lines and pull it in by hand manually and put it in the bin. It's Whose pretty, job is that? It's my job. It's a pretty retro system. I'd never used it before. So it was a pretty steep learning curve the first time we came to drop it, and it was in the water immediately afterwards. Did you catch anything? Oh, what? C catch the spinnaker? Yeah. Any, yeah, yeah. any dinner in that kite? Oh, no. Nah, no. It doesn't, I, I it doesn't have the water. I, yeah, I, I don't like fish. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thanks for taking us through Mr. Scruff today. And no worries. Are you guys about to get changed, head out in the water? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can I just say thank you to Sean Patterson for lending us his loose gauge? It really helped out yeah. taking the program to the next level. <laughs> you're the man, Sean. Yeah, you're the man, Sean. -o.